All right, we got another trade. We got Vitaly Kraftsov moving to the Vancouver Canucks uh, from the New York Rangers in exchange for William Lockwood and a seven-round pick. So let's jump over to the um, the Twitter announcer here. You can see, like I just said, Vancouver gets Vitaly Kraftsov and William Lockwood goes to New York Rangers and with, along with a seventh-round pick. So this is good for Vancouver. This is really good for Vancouver because they didn't have to give much at all. Um, just, a, just a prospect and a seventh rounder. So, and Vitaly Krasov being a first round draft pick, um, he is a bigger fish in this case. So, um, just jump over real quick to his cap friendly, just to make, just so we can see. So he is a right winger. Um, again, with the Vancouver Canucks now, first round draft pick, uh, drafted ninth overall in 2018. Um, really hasn't panned out as well with the Rangers as they would like, but he is an expiring RFA. And there was talk to him that going back to uh, Russia. So this is where the Rangers is like, hey, he probably won't sign with us. And there's a gritty reason he won't sign with us. And, the, and I'll show you why in just a second. Um, but so they, they want the the Vancouver Canucks are like, hey, we don't know if, he, if he's going to go back to Russia. We don't know if he wants to stay with us. We don't like we really don't know what's going to happen with him. So we don't want to give up a lot because we just don't know what's going to happen with him. So um, that's why they only gave up their William Lockwood trade. So let's, let's talk about William Lockwood just real quick, just so we can get this out of the way. William Lockwood, another right winger, just like um, Tyler Krasov, third round and 64th overall in 2016. Uh, played U of M, um, did all right. He, he has good numbers, right? He hits, um, he's depth, honestly. He's an AHL depth. You can see 18 points in 26 games. He is a uh, has 12 goals, but again, he is he, he as well. He is, he is an RFA this year as well. So New York can just decide to sign him or let him go. Either way, I don't know if the, if they do sign him, it'll be for a very low price, and he'll be st probably a perennial AHL player if he sticks with the New York Rangers system. Um, just because again, right wingers are all, uh, quite a plenty to say the least with the, um, with the Rangers. So jumping over to, uh, crafts, I'll just go over him real quick. Uh, right winger shoots left 23. Again, we talked, like we talked about ninth overall pick, um, wasn't performing at the rate, but because he, he wasn't being utilized as well as he could have been on the Rangers, um, because they are stacked on the right side. So let's jump over. I'm going to jump over to the New York Rangers lines combination. Like you can see. Uh, Jimmy VC's what a what a resurgence VC has had with the Rangers, which is amazing. Of course, um, the Rangers picking up Vladimir Tarasenko for a first round pick from the St. Louis Blues. Um, Capo Caco, a high draft pick, they had the second overall draft pick, I think twenty seventeen, I think it was. Um, so you have and you have so you have a, another great top first rounder pick, right? And of course, Tyler Mott, who they just picked up from the Ottawa Senators for uh, pretty cheap, I think. Um, so you can see this is already a stacked top four. Tyler Mott is honestly probably going to get moved down because guess who the Rangers are targeting right now? Uh, Patrick Kane from the Chicago Blackhawks, who guess what? Plays right wing. So Vitaly Cross, this right side is very crowded. Very crowded right side right side of the um, forward group, which is fine. Like I said, it, it makes sense for um, Vitaly Krasov. He wants an opportunity to, to play, which is why you're going to make a rebuilding re retooling um, Vancouver Canucks who want to do this real quick and spin this around. Um, so again, it makes sense for Kraftsoft to get moving over here. gets a lot of opportunities. And if he signs with them and sticks with them, um, I think he'll probably get like a bridge deal just so he can show he can play. Right. Let's say he gets a, a two or three year deal around like two, two and a half million dollars. You know, that, that allows him some time, some runway, to figure out his game with the Vancouver Canucks, see if he wants to stick, and again get a playing time to show that he really can be a first all, first overall or first round caliber. Again, we haven't seen it yet with the NHL, but he is so young, being twenty three years old. Um, so again, we we are. I don't think we've seen the full potential of him yet. Again, he's never been like a huge scorer, but um, again, he's a first round draft pick. So there's got there's a lot of um, there's a lot of indications that hey, you, you don't just go first, you don't just go ninth overall. Um, on luck, right? So, anyways, let me know what your thoughts are, what you uh, what you think, and how, and what you thought of this trade. So, anyways, uh, hit like, subscribe, and uh, love you.